So is your mother controlling your life? Do you think maybe your mother might be a narcissistic person? We're gonna talk about narcissistic mothers here and how much they will assert control over your entire adult life. My name is Lise Colucci and I'm here to help you understand, recover from and transform your life after toxic relationships and narcissistic people have been in it, including mothers. Let me know in the comments if you know a mother like this, even if it's not your own mother, if you have experienced or witnessed or if you are struggling from having someone in your life in a motherly role controlling you. Let's look at some of the ways that narcissistic mothers control us, okay? I have talked to so many survivors and, and I have coached so many people who come to realize that some of the reason that they have normalized narcissism in their life and they have gone toward and felt at home, even though it's uncomfortable and painful in relationships with narcissistic people who have then discovered that their mother was the source of it all. Their mother was the first person in their life who asserted narcissistic control. Not only are they overly involved and invested in your life, they are trying to control things such as your job, your friendships, your relationships, your partner, your children, what you wear, how you speak, where you go, what you do, everything in your life will be wrapped up around the control of this toxic mother. So toxic mothers and narcissistic mothers will break you down in order to make you need them. They will treat you in a way that makes you feel bad about yourself. And because it's your mother, there's this deep need in a lot of us to please, to make happy, to impress, to show our mothers that we're worth something, right? And we shouldn't have to be continually doing this in our adult lives, right? Or even in our childhood lives. But with a narcissistic mother, that's the game they play. They want you to be constantly trying to please them, appease them, do for them, show up for them. And in the process, they're breaking you down. You didn't do it right. You didn't do it good enough. You weren't available. You're a bad child, a bad daughter, a bad son, whatever it is, right? Whoever you are to them. And through doing this, they're creating this drive and this need in you instead of going, fine, later, mom, right? We say, okay, what can I do better? I'm sorry, mom. I should have done it better. I know. And even when you know, and tell me if I'm wrong here, but even when you know, it is incredibly difficult to step away from that and to say, wow, my mother is super toxic. I'm not talking to her or I am making some serious boundaries with her or I'm not going to let her get to me. It gets in. It gets in your head, doesn't it? So the narcissistic mother will present herself as the ultimate authority in your life. They know you. They know everything about you. They know what's good for you. They know what you are made of and who you are, right? It sounds motherly in a way, right? It sounds like, well, of course she does. She's my mom. However, they use that to then control you. They become the ultimate authority in your life and you are not the authority in your life as an adult. Then they have the power to create all kinds of confusing beliefs in your head, one of which is that you're obliged to her. Obligation to the toxic mother to do for her, to make her happy, to show up, to answer her, to text her back, to give her information, right? It's this obligation loop and cycle that starts to happen where you do things out of obligation for her and she creates more of the feeling of authority towards you and it becomes endless. Narcissistic mothers love to triangulate. A lot of them will pull in your friends, pull in your siblings, pull in their husband or wife. Anyone in your life that is someone you would care if they had an opinion of you. And they love to control that person too. Feed them information that is smearing you or scapegoating you so that you have a whole lot of people that you care about telling you you're wrong. That triangulation becomes incredibly painful and totally isolating. So narcissistic mothers and shame, oh, how they love to shame you. Have you experienced that? I think 
of all the people that I talk to, shame is a big one, even when they know they shouldn't feel the shame. And even when logically they don't feel the shame, right? Like when they think about it, they're like, why would I be ashamed of any, myself? But it gets in there and it's when you're in a time of need, it's when you're in a moment where you need to pick yourself up or be there for yourself, that instead of being there for yourself, your internal voice says shame on you. This is planted there on purpose by the toxic mother so that the only person you can turn to for relief is her. Her approval, her saying yes, her picking up the pieces for you, whatever it is and however she manipulates. Narcissistic mothers. Okay, you guys, are you starting to see how much control a narcissistic mother has over their adult children and how they're not going to stop any of this because this is the way they function as a mother. If this is something you relate to, hit the thumbs up. Narcissistic mothers will also nag you incessantly until you do things her way. Don't need to say a whole lot about that one, do I? Okay, sometimes people tell me stories about how their narcissistic mother spies on them. Constantly sending in other people, you know, the flying monkeys of the family or fam family friends to gather information about them. And, sh and then the narcissistic mother can think a couple steps ahead of you because she's been paying attention to everything. She's been spying on your life. A really painful thing that people talk about this is something when in coaching with people who have experienced this, it can take some time and a lot of compassion to work through this piece. And that is the narcissistic mother loves to compare you to everybody else. So-and-so's daughter's doing so great. So-and-so's son's been married for five years. So-and-so's, and it's not even things in life that you would actually care about except for the way she says it. She says it in a way that suddenly makes you feel lesser than in your life, lesser than as a human being. What kind of mother does this? Well, a narcissistic one, that's what. You know, have you noticed how narcissistic mothers make everything about them? The whole world is about them. Well, I mean, they're no different than any other narcissist. It's just that when you are a child of a narcissist, an adult child who has some self-awareness and some understanding of psychology, you might think, how can a mother do this? That's not a mother. Well, you're right. They're not mothers. They are narcissists. And narcissists play roles in people's lives. They do not take on the responsibility of and actually deserve the title of the roles that they live. They are so highly toxic that they can only think about themselves. Remember, to a narcissistic parent, you are an extension of them, even as an adult. You exist because they had you, right? And you exist, therefore, to serve them, to be there, to represent them out in the world. Even when they're scapegoating you, what they're saying is, I did my best and look what happened. They are doing this. So they're turning things around to make you look bad but then they're saying they're innocent. So one thing I wanna say here that I hear a lot is the narcissistic mother, when she's making it all about her, will make it seem like it's about you. A common phrase, I lived my life for you. I gave up my life and my career and whatever for you. I did this for you right? To make it sound like you owe them something for the mere existence that you are in this world. And then pointing out what she does for you, all the things she does for you. I mean, if that's not a guilt trip, I don't know what is. They'll do this continually, continually pointing out everything you do for them and how you are not doing enough for her. If you have a narcissistic mother, you know, and you need some help, please check out the info in the main description of every video where there's info on coaching, group coaching, and peer support. So it can be useful to get the validation. I know how painful this is. This is what you grew up with. This is your mother. You're supposed to be able to turn to her for support, unconditional love, right? And being a person who has your back, being a person that will tell you things, really tell you things in a healthy and loving way. 
With a narcissistic parent, you had none of that. I am so sorry that that was your upbringing and that that is what you experienced. And I know how incredibly painful that is for you. So, you know, find support in any way that you think works for your life, okay? Because it can be important to have that validation and to have someone that you can turn to to talk this through, okay? I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.